Hello everyone. Today our group will be presenting our final project, A Footprint Away. Our group consists of seven members, which are Bapichaya, Tayut, Pan, Ladapa, Taran, Tanakorn, and Natapat. Let's first begin with our project's rationale. So, we have observed that climate change and carbon footprint is an abstract concept for many of us. And there's a psychological distance that made us feel like the problem is not relevant to each and every one of us. We believe that sometimes the information alone about their carbon footprint may not be enough to persuade their mind. As for our objectives, first is to effectively visualize Jula students' carbon footprint. Second is to give concrete direction to reduce their daily carbon footprint. And third is to measure the willingness to change in Jula students who participate in the activity. And as a result, we have come up with our own idea on how to tackle this problem. As for the key methods, what we did is, we had our participants play through our games. And after they got the results, we will ask them some questions in the form of Google surveys, which will help us measure how well we did with our objectives. And the main part of our project is this program itself. As for how we created this program, it is basically coding. And we started coding through a software called Twine, which is an open source tool for telling interactive nonlinear stories. And we added scenarios upon scenarios to make a coherent story through this program. There are over 10,000 words in the codes, and that translates to about over 100 scenarios that could be seen in the games. And while most players will not be able to see all of them, they will get a very personalized experience that is tailored for them. On top of the scenarios and the codes, one of our group members also did the artworks for the game, and he did over 50 artworks alone, which made the game that much better. And after combining all those components, we will get the final product, which is a story-driven game that tells an important message about one's carbon footprint and how uh, the participants can reduce it. After the player finishes through a playthrough, they will receive a result that tells them how much carbon footprint they have emitted in a day. And after they have seen their first result, we will ask them uh, to reflect on their actions and provide them with uh, exactly how much carbon footprint increases with each choice they made. And this will give them a chance to redo their day in this game and help them visualize how they can improve their carbon footprint score. This will not only give them a goal to move forward to, but it will also be giving them a clear direction that they can follow. So now on to the key results. Before playing our game, most participants believe that they had a good understanding of the level of carbon footprint that they emit on a daily basis. However, it is important to keep in mind that this is all entirely subjective, and therefore could be subject to personal bias so the results may be skewed. After playing the game, virtually all participants believe that they ended up with a much better understanding of their daily carbon emissions, as you can see from the mean which rose significantly. A fact which is corroborated by this graph, which depicts a 35% decrease in carbon emissions in round 2 when the participants were able to receive various visualization aids. This allowed us to determine that our game was successful in providing easier ways for people to grasp the concept of reducing their footprint and giving insights into the possible impact that small changes in their daily lives could make. It is important to note that these numbers are not entirely accurate because our game is just a simulation. Your real carbon footprint is likely to be much higher. Finally, most players also discovered new and realistic ways to reduce their real-life carbon footprint through our game, and almost all show a high level of willingness to change in terms of their daily lifestyles. As for the benefits, our projects are able to provide in three different categories, environmental, social, and economics. For environmental, we promote eco-friendly habits, energy conservation, and other environmentally conscious choices to contribute to a more sustainable campus and planet. For social, 
We educate students about the significance of everyday decisions by visualizing the societal and environmental consequences of their action. And for the economics, this project is able to help in adopting more sustainable methods resulting in cost-effective practice. As for SDG, we are able to achieve quality education, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, and climate action. In conclusion, our project aims to create a game slash ebook that personalizes the carbon footprint of Chulalongkorn students in order to effectively decrease their carbon emission. And as for our objectives, it can be said that all of our objectives are achieved and the target number of players have also successfully reached our goal. Lastly, we would like to give our thanks to Ajahn Phong Chai, Ajahn Orawan, Ajahn Nipada, Ajahn Nontiwit, and Ajahn Shawata for the advice and assistance in making this project possible. And we would also like to thank JC Porzel for their game, Work at Home Simulator, which was a main inspiration for this project. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, we will be happy to answer them. Thank you.